Hello and welcome back to Dragon Age 2, where we are still making our way up the mountain with Meryl over here. And in between episodes I actually went back and watched the two episodes I did for the Dalish Elf Origin, just, you know, to refresh my memory. And yeah, Meryl, Meryl has been there. Uh, she, she was a bit different. She actually... Uh, seems a lot younger now <laughs> the way she talks and the way she looks or uh, although that is probably partially due to the fact how they redesigned the elves um i'm not entirely sure how i feel about that by the way i mean i think it's cool that they actually made the elves look uniquely different and not just like you know slightly smaller humans with pointy ears but um, they look a little bit creepy with their giant heads and their giant eyes. <laughs> I don't know. They look like um, anorexic aliens or something. Uh, I still, I still need to get used to that. So, <laughs> yeah. But um, there's a barrier over here, and we will have a look at that later once I have made sure there's nothing else here. Um, but there are a few bones with an empty quiver. <laughs> Alright, yeah, um, let's, let's see what this barrier is about. I can open the way forward. One moment. Alright. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That was a summoning. That mm. takes blood magic. Are you crazy? Yes, it was blood magic, but I know what I'm doing. The spirit helped us, didn't it? Yeah, they don't always keep helping. <laughs> sure, demons are very helpful. <laughs> right up until they take your mind and turn you into a monster. Well, yes. <laughs> but that won't happen. I know how to defend myself. Be careful up ahead. Restless things prowl the heights. Well then... In the days of Arlathan, the elders came here to sleep. Uthanara, the endless dream they called it. But they don't sleep peacefully mm. anymore. Evelyn Friendship plus five, okay. <laughs> um, a deep mushroom. That's... Another resource I get. Yes. Um. Oh, an altar. Um. Um. An arcane horror. Oh dear. Uh. Well, I think you can take care of the skeleton, and I will take care of the arcane horror. Um. Uh. Where are you? Okay, he's over here now. Ah, I hate it when they teleport. I really hate it when they teleport. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm going to taunt him. I want him to attack me primarily. Um, hmm. He's doing some sort of magic. Let's see. Uh. Whoa! Whoa, whoa, what did you do? <laughs> um, yeah, I think I think he's dead. So let's deal with the skeletons instead. And the corpses, of course. Uh, every one of you is still doing fine. Wow, Mara, what's your, what are you doing here? And there's one. Oh, there's another one of those shadow warriors. Right? <laughs> well, with combined forces, he doesn't really have much of a chance. <laughs> there we go. I think it's safe now. Place the amulet on the altar, and I'll begin the rite. Alright, let me loot first. Ring of the Magister. I'll take it. 
Any any other loot for me? Yeah, the Shadow Warrior. Well, apparently, um, the Shadow Warriors are elves. Once they're dead, you can actually see it. <laughs> um, so what's going on here? Uh, yeah, apparently th this goes further up the mountain. Um, now let's let's uh, take care of this now. Place the amulet on the altar. Aharin amalana salen. Emma ira albella serviranan. Isalahamin vinanhim dofilas. In usenera narivas. Um. Oh. <laughs> okay. Ah, and here we are. Yeah, you under Anatishian Ashabalana. One of the people I see, <laughs> so young and bright. Do you know who I am beyond that title? I know only a little. Then stand. The people bend their knee too quickly. So refreshing to see someone who keeps their end of a bargain. I half expected my <laughs> amulet to end up in a merchant's pocket. <laughs> yeah, um, <laughs> I couldn't sell it. No one wanted to buy it. Maybe because it had a witch inside? Just a piece. A small piece. But it was okay. all I needed. A bit of security, should the inevitable occur. And if I know my Morrigan, it already has. Interesting. <laughs> yeah, I mean, chronologically, this should be after um, Skadi Kuslin killed her in the Kokadi Wilds. So apparently she she took some precautions and uh, <laughs> made sure she would survive that. I mean, Mo I think Morrigan, Morrigan kind of hinted at that, that she probably wasn't really dead. So I guess I shouldn't be that surprised. Uh, who's Morgan? Is that someone I should know? She's a girl who thinks she knows what is what better than I or anyone. <laughs> <laughs> and why not? I raised her to be as she is. I cannot expect her to be less. I'm not sure whether she's your daughter or mm -hmm. your enemy. Neither is she. <laughs> So why not come yourself? Why did you need me to bring you here? Because I had an appointment to keep. And because I did not want to be followed, you smuggled me here quite nicely. <laughs> Are you real? Yeah. Juno Hall, Queen of Stupid Questions, strikes again. I don't understand. Are you some kind of vision? <laughs> <laughs> Must I be in only one place? Bodies are such limiting things. I am but a fragment cast adrift from the whole. A bit of flotsam to cling to in the storm. <laughs> what do you mean by that? A fragment. You do not need to understand, child. Hmm. Know only that you may have saved my life, just as I once saved yours. And even trade, I think. I agree. <laughs> yeah, what do you think about this, Anders? What are you? A spirit? <laughs> An abomination? This is no magic I've ever seen. <laughs> and you would know of spirits <laughs> and abominations. She got you there. I'm a mage. Of course I know of such things. Of course. I am a fly in the ointment. I am a whisper in the shadows. I am also an mm -hmm. old, old woman. More than that, you need not know. Well, <laughs> so what now? You have plans, I take it. 
destiny awaits us both, dear girl. We have much to do. Before I go, a word of advice. We stand upon the precipice of change. The world fears the inevitable plummet into the abyss. Watch for that moment, mm. and when it comes, do not hesitate to leap. It is only when you fall that you learn whether you can fly. <laughs> Cheap advice from a dragon. <laughs> we all have our challenges. As for you, child, step carefully. No path is darker than when your eyes are shut. Masaranus Ashabellana. Now the time has come for me to leave. You have my thanks and my sympathy. <laughs> You're not being ominous at all. And there she goes. Somehow I think we may not have seen the last of her. And wow, I got a lot of money for that. I'm doing I'm doing pretty pretty well at gathering my money for the expedition. Well, um yeah. That was interesting. <laughs> um, I wonder if I should try to look what's up there, but I probably need to go there at some point anyway. Oh, you can actually see the camp from up here. That is neat. <laughs> I like that. I like that. Yeah, let's let's just return back to the camp, and uh, I'm sure at some point we will have to return here anyway. So finally, um, I have delivered the amulet, and apparently not only the amulet, but Flammers as a whole as a whole. So I'll return the amulet to Keeper Marathari in the Dalish camp. All right, let's go. Return to camp. Maserana's child, your debt is paid in full. Hm. It isn't too late to change your mind, Dalen. Darath Shiral, Keeper. I'm ready. Let's depart. Right, we're, we were supposed to take her with us. Elganon. Is this... Is this really where the elves live? Not the prettiest part of Kirkwall, but it doesn't have a view of the giant chains. Take what you can get. I didn't think it would be so... so... I've never seen so many people in one place before. It seems so lonely. Yeah, you're not alone. You already know me. You'll make other friends soon enough. Guy. Thank you. Thank you for everything. For all your help. Will you come visit me? Not now, of course. <laughs> but maybe later. I could use a friend. Yeah, sure I will. <laughs> of course. But only because you used <laughs> that... You kicked my puppy voice. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, I'm thanking you too much, aren't I? I mean it, though. All right. Yeah. Um, I I had I had the suspicion that she was going to be a companion because, I mean, she looked so different from all the other elves in the camp. It, it was a bit too elaborate for just some NPC. So I guess uh, we're going to take her along. Um, yeah, I guess Anders can take a rest and let's have her instead. And do I want to change anything else? Um, I suppose I can bring in Bethany for Aveline. Good to see you again. 
I don't suppose you've heard of any work? Not yet. The Shem who oversees the docks says he doesn't want any more knife gears than necessary. Bloody Shems. We work as well as anyone else. Huh. All right, I see something over there. Ariane talking to a Templar without lower body. Um, let's fix that. All right, that's much better. Please, Sir Thrask. He won't go to the Circle willingly, but it's the only place. Madam, we'll do our best to find your son. But I cannot guarantee his safety if he continues to resist Templar jurisdiction. Good to see you again. He's just a boy. Was he in the tavern? He's an apostate. Not today. My sisters have me decorating the Venadol. Ha <laughs> ha, wrote you in, did they? Well, good luck. Um, yeah, sure. Since, since we're in the area, let's Please. talk to this person. I am sorry for your loss, mistress. But I can offer your son mercy only if he turns himself in. I'm trying to find him, but... The Templars cannot tolerate apostates. Can we help this woman? This could be mother. <laughs> um, yeah, can I help? It sounds like your son is in trouble. Is there anything I can do? You... Uh, you heard all of that and still you would help? Mm. An apostate? Oh, thank you. I am Ariane. My boy, Fainriel. He's all I have. All my family. When I learned he had magic, I could not bear to send him to the Circle. But his connection to the Fade, it gives him nightmares. Dreams of demons speaking in his mind. I would rather mm. lose him to the Circle than to himself. Uh, yeah. Where's Fainriel now? Did your son run away? He learned I had contacted Sir Thrask. He felt I betrayed his trust. He thinks he can live free of the Circle. But I am afraid without proper training, he'll kill himself. Hmm. Yeah, apparently you are Dalish because you have, you know, the tattoos. Those look like Dalish tattoos. Why do you live in the city? I was born to the Dalish, but came to Kirkwall for a time and dallied with a human merchant, Vincento. When I found I was with child, neither Vincento nor my tribe wished the burden of an elf-blooded human infant. I raised Fainriel myself, here in the alienage. Um, so what exactly happened? Tell me the whole story. I learned years ago that my son likely had magical talent. But we could not bear the thought of him locked in the gallows. So we hid. When the nightmares began, Fainriel still refused to contact the Circle. But I... I truly think they are the only people who might save his life. Tell me about the nightmares. What kind of dreams is he having? He dreams of demons, calling to him, pulling him into their world. Every day, it grows harder to wake him. Hmm. That is why I turn to the Circle. They are the only ones that can protect a mage from his own powers. Hmm. Uh, so, where do I start looking for him? What exactly do you need me to do? Just find him, please. Bring him somewhere safe. I don't know where Fainriel is gone, but there are two places you might start your search. Sir Thrask has been looking for him. If you speak to him in the gallows, he'll be able to tell you what ground he's already covered. And Fainriel's father, Vincento, recently returned from Antiva. He's a merchant in the Low Town Bazaar. Fainriel might have sought him out. Tell me about this Templar. I believe he's a good man. He doesn't hate mages, but sees what it took me too long to realize. Even the best-intentioned mages are at the mercy of their sleeping minds. There are other Templars who are much less sympathetic. Indeed. Um, tell me about Vincenzo. You and Fainriel's father are not married. Vincenzo had no desire for a wife or an elf-blooded no. child. I haven't seen him since the day I told him. I have written, though, to keep him informed about his child. Fainriel wanted to meet him. 
Well, I'm probably not going to do this right now because I have I have other stuff planned for the next episodes, but <laughs> I'll, I'll pick this option anyway. I will not leave you fearful for a moment longer than necessary. Magic can be a fearful gift. Your son deserves the best aid learning how to manage it. Thank you. It has been a lonely time hiding. It's almost a relief to finally confront this openly. New quest, Wayward Son. Okay. I think this was one of the rumors. And this one is updated. According to Varric, a dwarven merchant named Jarvis has been offering good coin in exchange for help. He's already left the city, but Varric is certain he could be caught up to near either the wounded coast or Sundermound. Um... Yeah, I still have all of this, and this is new. Speak to Meryl at her home in Lotown's alienage. Well, I am in the alienage, so let's let's speak to her right now. Meryl's home. It's it's just over there. Uh, let's have a look around. But I think I've been here already. So yeah, let's talk to Meryl, and then we can have a look at our quest journal again to see what else we can do. Oh, it's, that's a nice home. Let me pick up all your books. The Maker's First Children. <laughs> um, nothing in here. All right, Mary, let's let's talk. I didn't think you'd come. I'll find something relatively clean for you to sit <laughs> on. Something to eat or drink. I have water. <laughs> yeah, relax. You're always so tense and nervous. I came here to see you, Meryl. You don't have to fuss over me. You're so kind. My first guest, and I'm already a terrible host. I wanted to thank you for bringing me here, but I'm making a mess of it. Oh. <laughs> Well, um, I, I said I wanted to uh, make her a bit flirty, so let's flirt, I guess. I'm sure I could think of a better way <laughs> for you to thank. Well, of course you could. Oh dear. I haven't exactly had many friends. Not even among my own clan. This is... tricky. Um, why didn't you have friends? What made you unpopular with the Dalish? Being first to the Keeper, I was always a bit secluded. I studied magic and history while the others were learning the Via Tanadal. It's good that I left. I'd have made a terrible Keeper. I was never that good with people. Hmm. It won't take long before you're the most popular <laughs> girl in the alienage. Mythal, I hope not. I'd managed to say something stupid in front of everyone and embarrass myself. Thank you for coming to visit me, Hawk. It means a lot to me. Well, that was quick and it gave me some friendship. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm pretty sure that I want to go the friendship path of Varric because I'm almost halfway there already. And we will, <coughs> we will see about the rest. Um, and yeah, let's let's leave again. And right, uh, hang on a second. Can I, before I leave, let's have a look at our journal. Um, bait and switch. I, I want to do these two soon. Right, I killed some of the mercenaries. I could speak to with Ender since talking to people is usually not that long. Oh, I could start. Uh, let's 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 start with this one, and we will continue it in in the next episode. Lautown Bazaar at night. All right, uh, let's let's do this. 
A Lowtown Bazaar at Night. Bad people come out ah, at night. Oh, it. oh, oh. Sharps Highway, man. All right. Um, let's summon the dog and deal with them. <laughs> I need to look at um, Meryl again, see if she needs any equipment and things like that. Come on, just just kill the guy. And here comes the next wave. Alright. And now you... Getting his ass kicked. So angry at night. Someone should do something about them. Yeah, <laughs> indeed. Um, let's loot the sack. <laughs> Apparently, there's different loot at night than at day because I'm pretty sure there was no no loot um, during the day. And this wasn't here at day either. The Enigma of Kirkwall. I already picked up one of those codex entries. Apparently, it's more than one. Um, right, but we wanted we wanted to go over here. Answer the contact, so let's let's do that. Oh, there's even more. Wow. You are annoying people. I still haven't looked at at Meryl's equipment and stuff like that. Oh, there's one, one left. All right, and we leveled up. Uh, no loot. Oh, well, that is disappointing. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, and so, right. Let's let's continue. Stop, stop bothering me with stuff that I don't want to do. Um. Uh, I think I'm a little bit lost. Let's try this way. <laughs> yeah, this is this is the right way. Okay. Oh yeah, right. This is the hanged man. The sounds coming from inside are always so cheerful, but I never know what to do in there. Well, we can we can go there together if you like. When's the fighting start? Oh wow! <laughs> Damn, these people are everywhere. <laughs> Uh, oh well. Let's let's kill them. And we're done. Um Yeah, Varric needs some help. Ah, uh, I don't like that it switches to to the character menu. Let's let's do it like that. <laughs> yeah, because because I can level up it um it likes to switch over there apparently. Oh. Now it's your turn. And now you. <laughs> and there we go. All right. Well, let's loot and then talk to Enzo finally. Uh, 
all right and so let's let's talk are you answer ah, sweet mother <laughs> of Parth. you can't just run up on someone like that are you the one that mercenary told me about the one looking for work <laughs> expecting someone else did you think I was going to attack you oh no no uh, all right hope not anyhow my apologies human I haven't been on the surface very long. I keep thinking I'll fall up into that sky any minute. <laughs> Bartrand used to be like that. Got jumpy every time he stepped outside. What a bizarre thing to be scared of. <laughs> but I digress. I need some help. Rather badly, in fact. Some product of mine has been misplaced. The men who were supposed to deliver it decided not to. If you retrieve my property, I could reward you handsomely. What kind of property? Just what did these men steal? <laughs> did I say steal? <laughs> I don't know if I would go that far. They seemed like perfectly reasonable smugglers. They smiled <laughs> and everything. The goods are valuable, however, and illegal. <laughs> and my client wants them very, very badly. <laughs> you know how these Templars can be. Ah, uh, yeah, it's Lyrium. <laughs> You're smuggling Lyrium to the Templars. Maker's breath. Between the Chantry, the Carta, and the Coterie. <laughs> By the Paragons, <laughs> not so loudly. My word. I'm not cut out for this. I should have taken that job sweeping staples like Mother insisted. <laughs> uh... Yeah, that is kind of fishy again, but I mean, even, even Scotty Coothland did engage in Lurium smuggling. <laughs> yeah, this better be worth it. Make it worth my time, and I'll help you. Oh, I will. Or I'll try to. <laughs> the gentlemen conduct their business at night in a little hovel within the alienage. If you have to kill them, then I guess it can't be avoided. <laughs> but I'm sure they'll be reasonable. Um, all right. <laughs> Let's, let's have a look at our journal again. Visit the smugglers hideout in Lautone's Elven alienage at night to get Ansel's goods back. Okay, uh, yeah, I'm going to do that, but um, I think I will end the episode here, and in the next episode we will continue with this quest and check out uh, the lyrium <laughs> that Ansel has been smuggling. So, see you again in the next episode.